the one guy see. Damn. Hmm. That's funny. Y'all are funny as hell. Okay. All right. Um, next thing we have here is um, a piece that everyone's been talking about uh, now, but now we have more more information, more details, and more everything about this piece. And this is the the sideshow uh, penguin, right? Mm-hmm. Um, this is, you know, this just went up for PO. They haven't released the um, the edition size just yet, but the price point was, I think, I think everyone probably guessed this price point around seven hundred. I think most people said it was going to be around this. Um, how do you guys feel about the piece now that we've seen it in its uh, its full glory? I'm Probably. shutting up to let someone else talk for once. <laughs> <We're> get- <laughs> I think it's I think it's nice. I mean, it's it's really beautiful. The base is really fantastic. I mean, it's it's what people you know they never made a penguin, right? So, right, long overdue, yeah. long overdue, right? So this one is, I think it's a nice piece. I think it's really nice. I think it's mixed media for sure. It, it's got it be. is. They said it got to be. Yeah, it's a lot just a lot easier to put that that first stuff around him. But uh, right. I think it's a nice piece. I think it's really, it'll, it'll fit well with the Scarecrow and Mr. Freeze and all the other ones with the quarter scale. Yeah, yeah, penguins are good. Someone yeah. fucked those penguins up and they're coming back for more. Like they're badass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, think, in, I, co- in comparison to the uh, you know the, the Prime One, you know, I would definitely sure. take this one. Not because of the price, but you know, I'm, I'm doing a video that's going to go more into depth on why I'm going with the sideshow version. Nice. But um, overall, it's it's you know I prefer this one than the um, the prime one because I mean, you know, uh, I'll give you one example. Like, you know, I have a, you know, a few like prime one uh, statues, and those switch outs. Like, I hardly ever use them. You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Sometimes they sit in the box, and it's like I don't really. How often do you change your switch outs when you have a prime one statue? Not too often. So. I think this Age, one, dude, that's that's legit, man. People come. That's one of the questions that ask me all the time. Hey, do you believe? So a lot of questions I get is, do you believe in, in like you know light up features? I mean, it's all a gimmick, dude. Don't even care about the light up features unless it's like a, an AC adapter you can plug in. Yes, yeah. fine. Maybe you can play with it. And switch outs, dude. Switch outs to me is like having a DVD collection in your room. <laughs> yeah, you when am I gonna get up <laughs> with that DVD? Take it out of the box, <laughs> put in a DVD player, and watch my DVD like this? I'm not. Oh, that's yeah. me. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's you don't have to go for switch outs, but yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. That's true though, because you know I feel the same way. Like I hate having to like get up and plug in the the pieces and stuff like that. I, and then I was like, probably probably some weeks ago, I was thinking about okay, what what if I get a light up piece? I'll probably mm-hmm. have to get like one of those, you know, the 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 plugs that 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 you can um click the click the remote and turn the turn the power on so you have it plugged in all the time it's like it's just it's just an extra if, if it's an ac adapter most of them are batteries mm-hmm. you oh, can imagine yeah. you got to get up click the button and we can just stare at it it's going to run out in a day yeah and yeah. then if you forget about it the batteries could leak over time yeah i don't promote that though. Mm-hmm. I, I i tell people when i saw this when people come in here and they hey what do you think about oh it lights up i'm like look dude it lights up but it ain't just mm-hmm. look at it what it is man it's not yeah yeah that that that's one thing that kind of kept me away from that uh that sideshow um iron man mark seven i think it is yeah. the one where he's like this and, and the lights in the base and mm. you know it, it uh i can't let me see if i can find it maybe i think but you know i think that one served this purpose though that effect i liked but i just caught it late yeah well it was it was uh I think it's Mark Seven. I think it is. No, it's not. Uh, Mark Eight, maybe. It's a low number. It's not. It's not. Is this still available? Uh, maybe not. Um, I kind of slipped on that one. Hey, there it is, right there. Uh, oh yeah, this is it. This is the one. Let me see mm-hmm. if I can find the link for it. You're talking about the one you're shooting out? Well, that one's different. That's an AC adapter. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. That one was that one we sold out quickly too. I sold out on that one real fast too. That was beautiful. It came out real nice. Yeah. I really like that adapter. piece. 
It's an AC adapter. Yeah. Okay. That's that's much better. I think that I think it's waitlisted right now. Um, I see some people uh, selling it for like is it, I think it went for eight hundred on Sideshow, but it is is uh, they were selling for like six fifty in the aftermarket. I should have oh, got this. Nice piece. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice piece. One thing you give this credit for is like that's an explosion done really well. You don't see that. Nice, yeah. What's up, Kisses? What's up, Kisses? What's up, Kisses? What's up, Kisses? Can y'all hear me good? Yes, yeah, sir. yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is this is pretty cool though. Um, so what's the consensus on on penguin though? But did you say anything about penguin? I hear you saying. Uh, you no. Say? Um, you know, it's sculpted by my favorite, one of my favorite sculptors, Maria. Um, yeah, I I quite love the portrait on penguin. I like all the like uh, crags and like um, creases in his face. It's really. Mm -hmm well done pretty like artful it's mm -hmm. a nice stylization going on there um for me i think the base looks cool but it's also what what what, what then comes from the base being in the sewers like this is that it makes him like pretty dirty and filthy and then you got like these penguins. I I don't know if like the penguins are a thing from that movie or it's something that happens in the comics often. I, I don't I don't think I've seen penguins much with him in the books, but I would say the just the aesthetic, this bloodied up and dirty and dingy look for penguin, along with even the penguins themselves having like fresh wounds, like in cuts on their bodies. I don't know. I, I don't like that, like, really dirty, beat-up look that they have. I probably mm -hmm. preferred, like, if, like, he was, he looked less messy and he was more, like, gentlemanly. It, it, this look, it makes him look like it was, like, a hobo that found, like, a rich person's clothes <laughs> and, like, he's wearing them. It's it's very well executed and it's, it, it looks good. I love the sculpt, right? I just visually, for, like, the paint direction, I would have preferred something that was cleaner and more like uh, posh, maybe. You know, just like not not filthy, but like it's still a really good statue. Um, and, and I wasn't really in the market for like uh, Batman villains and stuff, but I think this is really good, especially this is like the first quarter skill penguin statue. I think even licensed to custom that I know about. Um, other than I guess XM Samurai, mm -hmm. but like yeah, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm I'm happy for the uh, for the Batman folk because they you know they are um, you know they're getting more more stuff that they've been waiting for, you know, and I think uh, that's always important.